Yeah. Uh-huh. So I got to listen to all eight of your periods. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banga. Woo! It is the end of the school day. I am thoroughly exhausted. You have no idea how exhausted I am. The kids took a test today, so we have our word of the day. Insinuate. <laughs> I like um, giving them a word of the day. Anyway. It's like I have to walk around the class. The balls are deflated. Um, I don't know, this table is wobbly. And you know, ironically, the kids still love sitting at that table and moving the stuff around. I think they like the wobble of it too. I guess that's another form of movement for them. Have no idea. Have at it, it's stripped. I do not know how to fix that. It's not the screw. I don't know guys I will say this <laughs> this is my first time at a traditional school okay but I will say this having a 100% alternative seating classroom it is a lot of work it is a lot of work and then there are pros and cons to not having the free public school education desk like those hey I want my students Keep messing with me. I'll tear this whole room apart and take it home. My back wall, my back wall back here, all this brick back wall. They say the fire marshal suggested <laughs> the back wall is more than 50% of the wall covered. So I'm going to come in here and find a creative way to take down some of the wall, but you can't really... You won't notice that most of it is taken down. Does that make sense? I'm going to try to do something pretty cool with it. Like, do I need the paper behind the bookcase? Look, hey, I'm going to cut around it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get creative. And after I take down most of the wall in a creative way, if he still has something to say, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take the, the whole thing down. I, my nerves, I can't. Oof. Anyway. Then, I don't know how to get the pedals on here. They're off, child. They gone. Then I was walking around the classroom. I get to the tree of knowledge. And I guess whoever sits over here, not, I don't remember. I have 170 students, okay? I don't remember. I look, they done peeled some of my leaves off of my tree. Who does that? So it's like you don't want to have nice things? My nerves are bad. Guys, let me just say, I don't know. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I do not know if I'm cut out for this. So, this is fine over here. So, the subway, that's fine. My lighting sucks in here, but anyway. Um, yeah. The bean bag is slowly deflating. They still love the bean bag, though. Still trying to display student work but sometimes the stuff we gotta work on that okay so i'm coming this weekend to try to hang the positive affirmations that the kids have been writing and i want to draw something i don't know if i could draw it tonight or tomorrow they could color it in they could color it in on friday I, i'm gonna go see i'm, I'm just tired y'all because it's about positivity. So I want to put something about positivity and a quote or something. And then all the little index cards. Um, they could, they can, I'll, I don't know, figure out a, a creative way to place all the index cards <clears throat> around a sign. So I'm saying I want to create something similar to this. You know, and I'll design it and stuff. <clears throat> And then I'll have the kids color it in. I, I, look, I don't, excuse me, I use a permanent marker. This is crayon. I think I use crayon for that part. Maybe a little highlight. No, that's yellow pencil. And of course, permanent marker. 
permanent marker up here permanent marker so i don't know i still want to have the hip-hop theme and then we've been they've been writing positive things on cards there is one that was there was one girl she wrote one and it was so good and i want to share that one with you guys so it's like what's something good that you can share with the class so it gives them that little writing and i try not to grade their writing because it's a free space for them to write something good that has happened something good they've seen something good that they've done so it's like a, a um non-judgment there's no judgment it's no judgment zone but i'll be right back let me find the one that this girl blew me away hold on look i'm a hot mess i found it her writing is really really tiny <laughs> so look the glass is not gonna help with this i don't know maybe they will so she says my name is such and such and my hobbies include living in a metaphor and trying to convince my shadow that i am someone worth following i may not be perfect to a random passerby but i know i'm perfect in the eyes of those who love me makeup isn't necessary because i'm proud of the face my parents have crafted for me i make mistakes but I make up for it. I love myself and I'm not changing for anyone. Lord Jesus, I was on the flow. On the flow. Tell me that's not beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. That one was good. Good. And of course, I picked out the ones that they wrote about me, but this one was funny. I make the kids laugh all the time. And um, Miss Basil is nice and she's she has pretty hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she has pretty hair. She isn't afraid to tell you the truth. Um, but you know she means well and she will always have your back. Miss <laughs> um, Basil is a kind, inspiring teacher. She is always there to help. Miss Basil is the funniest teacher that I know. And with all those personalities, she is a good person. It was so funny. I was like, oh, oh, really? That is quite true that I have all these various conversations, but you didn't have to put me on blast like that, sis. <laughs> the class was rolling. It was so funny. Miss Basil is a very inspiring person. She has gone through so much and she has endured so much pain. Many people might judge her, but she does not care what people think about her. She is strong and powerful. Aww. Uh, inspiring. This another one says I'm inspiring. Um, someone talked about their mom. Um, this one was cute. This one was cute. Um, the thing that's positive about me is that on the morning that my mom tells me to do good on school, and this is ESL, um, and do the best, you know, do well at school is what he's trying to say. And that the best thing ever is when I come to my third period class and that Miss Basil is always there with a big smile. Lordy Jesus. Yeah, I am thankful for Miss Basil. She is an amazing teacher, and I'm glad she is my teacher. Miss Basil is unique, is a unique person, and she's really funny. Oh, I just want to thank Miss Basil for helping us through this journey, trying her best. Glad to wake up this morning. And then this one, they just said, That's awesome. See, these are sweet. I think these need to be on display. Come on in, girl. I think they need to be on display because these kids put so much thought into their stuff that it needs to be celebrated. What'd you think? So I'm gonna show you what I design and what we create. I'll see Bobby can help me with that and post it outside our room since we have to have things that we celebrate that the kids do. Yep. Well, I'm gonna try to get out. Look, I'm still here. I had an um another teacher. She came in here. She's looking for her phone. <laughs> Do you know a little girl? She came in by classroom. Boom! Miss Basil, can I go home with you? I'm like, all right. 
literally okay she's like because i cannot go home miss basil i lost my apple watch my apple watch. i cannot find it miss basil i cannot go home without that watch i was like i don't know in my head i was like girl that thing gone <laughs> So, you know, forgot about it. She left, whatever. She ran out of here trying to find her watch. So, several days later, could have been a week later, I saw her with the watch. I was like, oh, so you, you found your watch? She's like, yes, it was in Lost and Found. Baby. The watch was in, the, an Apple Watch in Lost and Found. That's where I work, child. They return your stuff. I could leave my phone sitting out. Everything. Nobody touch it. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I can say around here. Ain't nobody stealing nothing. Yes. Return her Apple Watch. <laughs> and so, mm, I have another student. I already talked about him. He likes to make noises and stuff. And Hunty, when I found out, I already talked about this. But when I found out, that he can behave in another class, I sh shut it down. <laughs> I was like, not in this class. And Hunty, he is my best behaved student. So once I got that noise making stuff under control, and I know he knows how to control himself, we were good. He sits at my table here. Um, he had a wonderful day, so I gave him a treat. You know, I said, you're doing really well. I'm proud of you. And I gave him a treat, and I was like, this is after you finish your test, okay? He was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I just love him to pieces. I mean, we had, we had a little shaky start, but let me tell you. But once I got over the behavior and my expectations and so on and so forth, Oh, excuse me, I'm busy eating this shot. I'm hungry. And got over that stuff, then I could start to build that relationship, you know. And so what I do now, you know, I went to Capturing Kids Hearts. So I picked up little tips from Capturing Kids Hearts. So now every day, and I had to overcome this child. Touching the hands, kids' hands. I had a psychological block in my brain <laughs> that did not allow me to touch or shake hands with the kid. I, I had to let it go. I had to let it go. And then I had another thing I had to let go at home is my kids could never sit on my bed with their school clothes. It took years for me to let that go because I felt as though building that relationship and allowing my kids um, to sit there and tell me about the day and the excitement, how excited they would be I was like, what's more important, your hangups about the germs in your bed or allowing my kids that freedom and that, that, that innocence to come out for them to tell me about their day. But honey, it took, it took a while for me to get over that. So I was like, ooh, they would sit down. I'm like, ooh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, it's true, so I gotta listen to all eight of your periods, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, it did take a while for me to let that go to find out where I wanted to pick my battles. And some battles, they are not worth dealing with. So, I had to let that go. But they still cannot put a backpack on my bed. I'll be dead. Because don't you put your backpack on your floor? You know, the school, the bathroom, don't put your backpack. I'll deal with your, with your school clothes, but don't put your, don't you put your back. Or if they go through my bag, don't you put that bag on my bed. <laughs> Look, right now, my bag is on the floor. And so, you know, so it's just, you know, I like building those relationships with the kids. I have one student. I can't break him. I can't break him. And I think we agreed with the mom, but I've been working with the mom, that he should be transferred to another class. Uh-huh. It, it kind of upsets my spirit. I have 170 students and only one bothers my spirit. Literally, my spirit is disrupted by 
by the energy and whoof and um so i put in a request for him to um and i think it may be a better fit because a lot of their friends in the classroom it causes a lot of disruption so we'll see we'll see what happens but um it's hard to crack that to crack that one and another teacher said it's, it's, it's hard to build that relationship it, it'll be my first one my first one i couldn't crack my very first one out of my teaching career just but my when my spirit is not good i don't know this may sound weird but i could just feel it here it's like all right let's get through this class mm -hmm.